Hi everybody, we're back and we've got uh, Red Axel World and we're going to get straight into it, starting with another level 3, Nika, A Slice of Summer Life. She's so cute, oh my god. You're going oh, to jail. Uh, well firstly, heads don't work like that and body configurations also don't work like that and eyes especially don't work like that. You, Her you mouth would... is massive. That's why I won't go to jail. You would know if you're a doctor. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Uh, is this, so 3295. If there are two or fewer Climax cards in your waiting room, this gets minus one level in hand, so it's a heal. And when this is placed from hand to stage, you may put the top... Well, what am I saying? Yeah, I just said it is a heal. heal. <laughs> and when this, is, when this attacks... Climax combo. I, I am slightly not awake right now. Okay. When it attacks, if, if Summer Fun is in the Climax zone, salvage. choose up to one character in your waiting room and salvage it. This gains 1k and the ability, when the battle opponent this is reversed, you may put the... This is Silica. Yes. Except yeah, you may put that opponent on top of the library. Yeah, it's just straight up Silica, isn't it? Doesn't Silica yeah. also get 1k? Silica is from waiting room. Silica doesn't top deck the character. Yeah, Silica puts from opponent's waiting oh, yeah. room. So yeah, this yeah. is actually like a lot better because it can this top deck the yeah. Yeah, but if you can't reverse something, you don't get that guaranteed damage. Well, ob obviously, but like, it'd be worse if you couldn't even get the salvage. But you get everything besides the top deck, right? And like, if you I, I, I think... Look, the the main thing I want to draw attention to is that Silica and Nico fill the exact same mascot lolly role in both SAO and Excel uh. World, and they have pretty much the same level 3. Well, Silica combo also combos with just the 2k1, whereas this combos the door. 2k1 is 2k, 2k1 is fine at level 3. Oh, I mean, for overall deck comp, it's like... She also has red hair. Silica has brown hair. We want to follow Andrew. <laughs> yeah. Red hair is yeah, but, not a natural but, but, hair color for Japanese people. But Scarlet Rain has red armor, and Silica has red armor, so... Red eyes are also just not a natural eye color. She doesn't have red armor in this, in this art, though. Yeah, she has a uh, anime. There's no no armor. She's anime armor in this art. I mean, this this art is basically like the kind of sends you straight to jail kind of thing, right? Is it like yeah, Western pretty fantasy much. Armor? Mm. I I quite like the SP art of this. It looks a lot less unrealistic. Yeah, this one is just like her, all right, all her right, mouth all right. is like eighty percent of her face. All right, as, as a do as a doctor, what? How long do you give her to live? <laughs> it's lupus. <laughs> No, it's clearly some sort of cancer because eyes don't it, get that big and neither do mouths. Cancer or like no, gigantism. No, no, no. It's just lupus. But she's also not huge, she's, right? So it's like localized. She's also he's, super he's thin. A, he's as tall as those trees. So yeah. So there's no a, way her body can support that head, right? No, no. She, no, she's no, so no, thin. She is so thin. Look at that. That is clearly unnatural weight loss, which is a cardinal symptom of chronic cancer. It's also a symptom of lupus, isn't it? She's... No, lupus is an autoimmune disease, right? Does it yeah, does that cause also, weight loss? You also get deathly thin from having. I want to call attention to her fingers. How much house have you watched? What can you tell us about lupus? It's always lupus. All right, look. <laughs> Scrubs is the superior medical show. Uh, let's look at the fingers, because I think there might be something there. Like I don't know. She Why are we looking at the fingers? Actually, it looks like bent out of shape. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! Looks... I just noticed the fingers. That ruined the art for me. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm just like looking at it, it's like, her, up, her upper body is like contorted by like 40 degrees from her lower body, and then her legs Ow, are just her... jetting outwards with her arm behind her legs. Her little finger is at an, a 180 degree angle to her thumb, try and do that in real life, see how that works out for you. Uh, you can do that if I have a surface. It's not pleasant. Well, no, just she has a ball. ball. Let's get back to the actual <laughs> anime. So, so, so this is this is a three-two advance summon heal, which I think is very reasonable to play as a three or four of because it's an easy advance summon condition. It's a two-soul beta that'll mop up most level ones, and it's I, I don't even think you played a climax combo. Does I think crew, it's fine. Yuki, he may have a climax combo. Yes. So yeah, yeah. Then you oh, don't what? run the climax combo. You have an early play healer, and you live with it. Well, you play the climax combo in the the Skyraker deck, right? And so, I think this card, the climax combo, is actually like really strong too. Like the climax combo is fine. It's not like outrageous. It's the fact that you can 
answer a shinobu at level two. Like it's really weak, but if you like pump with brainstorm, like do something, you can actually answer a shinobu, and that's kind of strong. Like to be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. <clears throat> yeah. But uh, card is playable. Okay. I mean, oh, Shinobu's not really a concern for this deck unless um, unless they're attacking into this for some reason, which they probably won't. You probably have a level X or a decent global behind it. And you have ways to solve Shinobu on your own turns if you're playing red at level 2. So, Yeah, I'm just going to call the card playable personally. It's fine. It doesn't playable. do anything extraordinary for me besides being an early play healer. And the climax combo is just acceptable. Well, don't you have to play it, though? It is the early play healer, so wouldn't it be, like... It is the early good? healer, yeah. I mean, no, yeah, no, uh, no, I don't... I, just because no, no. it's an early play healer doesn't we... mean it's good. Like, I'm not calling the index early play healer good. That card is also just playable. It's not the reason why I'm playing index. Yeah, like, we, we rate things based on, like, a pseudo-vacuum. But if a card, like... A card is needed in a deck, that doesn't automatically make it good. If a card is good enough to be included in a deck, then it's good. But if you like, you wouldn't call a one zero uh, six five good because you need it in the deck. Like it's just a playable card. Some feel like two levels are running one zero six fives. Doesn't every meta Excel World deck have to play two or three of this card at least? But so, like, well, not necessarily. Like you could certainly play the green. Um, you could certainly play the green Jiri, um, advanced summon. You could advance summon Black Lotus. Although I think that's a bit, uh, a bit. No, uh, that, you can't afford to advance I, summon thirty thousand dollars worth of card. No, 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 no. Black, Black Lotus is a different card completely. <laughs> You're uh, telling me it doesn't produce three mana of any one color? Oh, 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 you mean that Black I, I thought you meant the 3,000 yen, no, three, and I'm like, yeah, head, head, mind, mind blanks for a moment there. <laughs> but, I feel like uh, I will say playable that... plus. I think I'd go playable plus. Sure, you can, you can give it playable I, plus. I that's, think it's just that's playable. What I'm, that's what I'm giving I think it it's well. a playable plus. I'm giving plus it playable well. plus as well. Yeah. It is just an advanced summon heal with an easy condition. It's like a strictly worse pizza sauce, and that card is great. So it's just playable PL for. Uh... All right, let's get this off our screen before we actually get. Well, get this off the screen before someone so actually calls us out or something. Is she? Isn't she like a, a mega bitch in the anime? Yeah, she is. But it's like. <laughs> anime, you know? I love anime. <laughs> but anime. Oh, right. So righty. she's actually. Uh... Wow. Well... All right. It's a Shrine Maiden. Yep. Yep, Auto Maiden. So 3 to 11k. Can't side attack. And when it's placed from hand to stage, check the top card of your deck. If it's an Avatar or Net Trait, deal 1 damage to your opponent. It also has 1 cost to give this 2k till the end of the for, um, till the end of your turn. This card is boring. Uh, this card is fine. only... It, it's, it's only good because you need it for the 3 to blue on reverse combo. Otherwise, it's strictly... What does the 3 to right. blue on reverse combo do? It's some of the on the pay three, pay three, pay three stack, stack another character. Yeah, yeah, pay three stack Put something. It's from your hand onto the field, and then you get to do the top check and you get another attack. Interesting. Like I mean, if everything goes your way, it's literally one burn away from being Marika, which is kind of cool. But like uh, uh, the whole combo, the I whole suppose. combo, is... and like the whole, the whole thing with the combo is like, well, I guess we'll get to it when that card comes up. But this card's like. Probably just playable. Like, this card is I mean, playable it is one on card its away from own. Being Marika, except you need to have the climax as well, which isn't hard. It has draw two, drop one. But my point stands. Like even if you don't have the climax, like I feel like the deck would just like like the way I'm playing the deck right now is like, I'm like. You also can't pry fields. Like I mean, like comparing this to. You, oh, you, you can double. You can double field Marika. You can double field. You, you, you can stack itself. You can stack itself. So you can actually try field re no, Yeah. Can. If you reverse once, if you try field the blue raker, if you reverse once, you're gonna have to sack a blue raker. Yeah, exactly. So no, no, you can't. Like it's you, you can't get this effect three times. You can sack like itself. You can't, you can't, no, no, you can't sack itself. It says choose another. It's choose. Well, you can sack back row then. You can sack back row and do triple restand. You can overplay it. That's what I meant. Like you can overplay your raker onto the. Yeah, field. yeah. What what that that, that oh, is yeah, true. Uh, what you can do is you can sack a back row and put the yeah. automaton in the sky raker. How position. much stock does this end up costing you? Ten. You need uh, You need ten stock. Like it's I'll calculate it all and like okay. it's not hard, like it's ten, like, ten stock is actually doable if you're on stock soul. Like I mean, the difficulty isn't in that. that. It's also like, that's not the difficulty. The difficulty is getting cards. three reverses off. That's true. That's like, the hard part. Sky, Skyraker um, is not enormous. Like it's, it's reasonably large. 
It's it big. is a 10k with a support behind it and a climax play. Like, it's not actually that big. Uh, Arda Maiden, once it comes in, I believe it gets an obscene amount of power, but that doesn't even matter. Like, it, this it is Arda never Maiden. mattered. And the other thing that this doesn't have, where um, that Marika does, is the ability to side attack on the second attack. Yeah, it feels uh, bad. Simply because this literally cannot side attack. But um, no, it is comparable to America. It's got a very high ceiling, and I think that's the way Excel World has to go in the end. I haven't actually written up a list on the meta post because I can't figure out the level one configuration. But whatever, we'll get to that. You'll send you my. This, this card is. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> this card is, I think, playable by its own rights. Um, I I don't think it's good. It is a it is a puzzle piece to the ultimate's almost Marika puzzle. But by itself, it's just a very underwhelming card. Like, we have this card in um in Red Gotch Yusa, and we shat on it. Like, it was terrible. This card is... Uh, again, and yeah. that card even had... Yeah, like, that card even had additional burn, and we still shat on it. Well, yeah, this card is, like, whatever. It is whatever. But you would never play this card if you were not playing the blue card. So, like, yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Well, you it's can, an accessory like, to it, a maybe, strong card. If you just want, like, an additional no, burn. No, no, no. But... I don't think you. I definitely don't think you do. Like you you, you, you're either. better off. Yeah, like you're better off um splashing the Scarlet Rain. Well, next up. Uh, next card is Scarlet Rain driving. So this is like the 18th global support we've talked about, but this one requires you to have Nico and Pard friendly scene. Uh, which is a 1-0. It's a really good card. We'll come to it later. That's but the other draw to this card is that this has the extremely powerful Salvage Brainstorm effect. Pay one, tap two, mill four, and for every climax, choose one character in your waiting room, any character, that includes enemy, and add it to your hand. So you play it because it's a Brainstorm. Good. It's it's playable plus. Mm -hmm. uh, would you play this in every deck? I'm not playing in a few decks. Like, you don't... No, no, you don't play it in every deck. Because, um, firstly, if you've got any on-reverse going on at all, then the search brainstorm is superior simply because of its first ability. Oh, I guess it played. And I if you don't, no, no, I said I said it's a good card. Oh. I said it's a good effect. I don't think it's actually a good rating. Yeah. It's like a playable card if you're not playing yellow. In fact, if you're not playing yellow, I think you definitely play a couple of a couple, maybe three of this. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Because it is a very it's a very solid card in its own right, but it's only playable due to circumstance. Agreed, playable. Yes. Idea. Yeah, just playable. Yeah. We'll, we'll go with Utai, uh, Summer Festival. Plus, but yeah. Yeah, no. Well, it's fair. It's a good card. Yeah. Salvage, yeah, salvage yeah. Brainstorms are good. There's like Vanilla. Utai, yeah. Sal yeah, yeah, pretty much. Utai, Summer Festival. It's a 0015. When this is placed from hand to stage, you may mill three, and it's a level zero bomb. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's the. Uh... Uh, that double R brains, that double R bomb from a uh, Gochusa. Basically, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's similar. It's playable. This card is I think playable. Think it's fine. Yeah, it's playable. I don't know how many level zero slots you have for this card, but you, I can see this being contender for your red slots. Next. Yeah, yeah, same. All right, so Nico and Pard, friendly scene. This is the 1035, it's another global support. This is getting really old. And when you accelerate, choose a character. That character gains one cost on reverse. Uh, salvage. Yep. It's playable. It's pretty good, actually. It's a super strong ability. It's just, I don't know if you want red at level one at all. Uh, Wait, I was talking like, about blue has... like, you, like, you can play this over the level zero one in yellow and then have humans hit more. But then you're playing tricolor I... one. That's that's what I that's my first draft. I actually cut um, the level zero Hime down to one, I think, and I played three of this because you don't want to like accelerate and kill something and check top four at level zero, and if you do, then that's really weird. I mean, you can do it. It's just it's strange. Uh, and this card is just a, a decent. Isn't that what the Hime does, or is it? Oh, no, 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 wait. That's search. that's the Hime is the Hime is search. Yeah, zero. you may search. Like, I, that doesn't sound like something I'd want to do at level zero because there's only uh, there's only a few good accelerators at level zero, and I don't think any of them even make the cut. 
You could argue for Fuko, I suppose, but I don't like yeah, that. Yeah, so basically, you yeah. in favor of playing Hime altogether, you play the 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 next card, or, and then this card, and you, you only need to do two colors at level one, and you can hit your level three Hime like all, like way more, like significantly more. Yeah, like hitting for one is way better. If you can cut your level zeros down to fourteen, that's the opt. That's that's approaching decent for Hime. I still don't think it's great, but it's very serviceable regardless. This card is uh, next card is, yeah, I, I give this a playable plus. I like this card a lot. Anime, playable. Nico, anime. Nico and Winter, one zero four k. If you have the uh, aforementioned Nico and Pard, this becomes a, uh, it becomes like six five at least because if you've got a full field. So for each of your other Avatar net characters, this gains five hundred, but you only get that ability if you have another Nico or Pard. When this is placed from hand to stage, check the top card of your deck and put it either on top or bottom. Uh, it's a really neat effect no, right. to have or, on a beat. Or into waiting room. It's, oh, into waiting room, yeah, my top bad. or waiting room. It's middle. I mean, I mean you can't say it's scry, because scry is top or bottom. Okay, it's contingency you can say plan. I hate that card so much. Uh, contingency <laughs> plan X1 Accelerate. instead of 5. <laughs> it's like if you hit with a Grim Flayer. We can, we can be dumber and dumber about this. Accelerate. Uh... So it's you'd clock one at the start of your climax phase. You may accelerate if the, if you do. This gains one level, notably no power, and the ability when this kills something, salvage a character. So six five level two salvage. Probably seven k because you'll have. I mean, you uh, get the jam of climax too, up. right? So like either a stock soul or or a one k one, like the gate. Yeah. I think you probably play one k one. Probably a gate. It's a k. I think it's one k one. So, I, I mean, it. this card is fine. I, I mean, you yeah. get to salvage two because mm -hmm. you're using Nico and Pod. You accelerate once. Yeah. yeah. I, it dodges anti salvage too. I love how it just dodges anti salvage. It's like beautiful. Like, I mean, complete. reversing at level one is still risky sometimes. That's that is still a concern. That's the concern, but like because you can stack all of them on it, you get all your pluses. Yeah, exactly. It's like beautiful. That's the difference between this and Marika. Like Marika, yeah, it's on reverse, so you can have the last one attack and get your salvage. But since this yeah. one, you can have two anti salvages in your last one. That's that's really good. Like, people are not evaluating that um, appropriately right now. The fact that um, like everyone is playing in a way that they'll minimize the on reverse stuff. That's why Deramas is doing well because they only need one reverse and they have a fat field to keep advantage. But with Axel World, you only need one reverse to get two characters worth of uh, advantage, which is really good. Really good. The other thing is, their entire level one vantage games don't need climaxes, so their climaxes are like, they become like trinkets, like they become like bracelets, right? You just play it if you want to do more damage, but you always get it at level one. That's awesome. I, I think you always you always want to put, do more damage. Well, but obviously, yeah, if you do, but, somehow if you somehow don't have a climax, or if you somehow like if you're dealing with one character in the front row and two empty slots, then you don't have to um play a climax. I mean, and over if, swinging if the you other only have one slot, you still get the salvage three times. It's beautiful. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah, it's that's really good. I mean, if they're playing a runner, that makes it harder, but you still that's like if, you can still you can do yeah, like you can just split the salvages onto depending on the runner, whatever. I have a question. If it they is. have a runner, like what would you guys do? Would you even try to accelerate no. and no. it? Like, no. Why wouldn't you no. try? No. no. I don't think I would. I would not accelerate. I just probably Depending on what deck it is, like, is that a deck that can destroy my front row? I wouldn't accelerate regardless, but, yeah. Ooh, okay, is this the more actual? I, I think, um, if you just accelerate, you, you, you have a very high chance of just not doing anything. If they only have a runner in their front row. Even if, like, like the, you're, you're gambling so hard for me. I don't know. The card itself is fine. I if, I if they had a runner, I wouldn't. I would probably just play leftover level zeros and not accelerate. Yeah. I mean, like, even at 7k, though, it's already reasonable enough that, like, if you play it, they have to counter to get over it, and 8k means that most fields just don't beat you. Mm -hmm. even, even on defense. <laughs> like, most of the advantage-based character, like, Fields just can't beat you. The, obviously, the fields that aren't dedicated to advantage, like, they just don't give a crap. They're gonna be bigger than you anyways. Uh, yeah. Mm. So I don't. Yeah, in response to that question, I would not go for an accelerate theme on that turn. I would just play level zeros and. Yeah, you get it eventually. Yeah. Like, you'll like always like 
at one point in the game. Yeah. The card is playable. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I don't think it's better than playable plus, but it's playable. Yeah. All right. Uh, so let's go into the next card. This is best girl. Pod, a slice of summer life. Uh, what kind of name is? So pod. It's pod. S and P A R D. I'm pretty sure that's how. Isn't that the official romanization? I, I don't. I'm not saying it's not pod, but I'm saying like, how is what? What kind of name is this pod? Oh, is is she best girl because she has the maid trait? Okay. I just noticed that. No, it's it, no, no. It's because she speaks entirely in like MSN Messenger speak. So like uh, emojis like, and shit. He's actually lying. It's entirely because she's a maid. Is it because of the maid trait? <sighs> you can't even lie about. You guys, that. you got you guys can think what you want, man. So it is yes. It is exactly because of the maid yeah, trait. Yeah, yeah. I like the text on the card. It just says K. What does she bond to? Okay. <laughs> she bonds to. Oh, she bonds to the next she card. Bonds to... She yeah, bonds the, to the next the, card. We'll get the, to that in a moment. Yeah. Champ. I mean, okay. this card was fine. Resident Sleeper. Do we just okay. want to get to the next card and evaluate them together? Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> is she? Is she also? No, this one doesn't have mage trait. No, no, this is the lolly. This is the lolly. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Watch that. Scarlet Rain. I'm, I'm gonna be real. Like all, all of these like MMO anime things. I'm just thinking to myself, man. Dot Hack was so good. <laughs> Get out Dot of Hack here. was just a rip. It was just a rip off of Sao, man. Just yeah, exactly. Your... <laughs> Dot Hack just knew Sao was gonna happen in the future and decided to cash in eight years in advance. Damn right. <laughs> so Scarlet Rain, feeling feeling competitive. Um, this gains one. Um, this gains X power. It's got the Desco trait, so. This gains X power, where X is 1,000 oh, no. times Desco gained 500. This. I thought Desco was 500. No, no, no. Desco was, was 500. Oh, yeah, Desco was 9. Desco was 9.5, and it gained 500. Yeah, okay, my bad. Yeah. Uh, so this one's... I guess it gets bigger than Desco against level 3s. Whatever. When this attacks, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a character with Avatar net trade, deal X damage to your opponent, where X is the level of that character. Um, I'm going to let... I'm gonna let the guy who's run the 30 level 3 deck talk about this. I'm gonna be yes, right back. Uh, oh shit. So there's a- this- this deck- this set can do the- the 30- where well, you play like 20 level 3s, 10 level 2s, I say 30, but that's the actual ratio. And then you just- you'll consistently reveal a 3 burn, or a 2 burn, and it becomes just a free Shinon, because you're gonna trigger too. And that's broken. I think that's actually broken. How do you like, get enough stock to play these cards? Your, your entire deck is free because your entire deck revolves around using one card that comes back to your hand. So <laughs> it's just you, you, your stock is you generate like two or three stock every single turn. And you just, as long as you cycle four turns within zero to three range, you have to, like 10 to 12 stock. So <laughs> this still then, sounds bad. It's very do. It's like super doable. It, it sounds terrible, but the deck is like super playable. Like, it's not even like. I think Japan, Japanese players are never gonna play this. Shit. It's gonna take a shit on everyone at W. <laughs> this sounds incredibly questionable. Like you, you think it's questionable, but like it's actually like you just open one card and you can just like snowball a whole game. It's like ridiculous if you don't like get animated. If you don't get animated, that's that's like, a this tough, card is like that's a tough... you know what game we're playing. Yeah, I know, but like this card, like Fate does it too. Like Fate had lists that top doing this, and the ability to burn three or two for free is kind of it's like you can't deny that that's good. You're just questioning if the deck even works, which is reasonable. But yeah, anime. I'm really into that deck. If you can't tell. It's probably fine. You it's just cards. have a lot of things that need to go right. In, in this case, because of that specific deck, I'm going to now call this card niche. It got downgraded from playable. It's actually <laughs> a really good auxiliary. <laughs> this is an auxiliary uh, attacker uh, for Kuryuki Hime, though. Like, if you're trying to optimize the Kuryuki Hime to begin with, then this is a really good card to run alongside it. I normally hate this card. Like, I think Nikki is dreadful. 
even in like the masterpiece compression deck. Even when you play Archer Mickey at level one, uh, even when Mickey is yeah. out at level one, especially, especially <laughs> when you play it at level one, which is absolute. <laughs> I think those cards are like really mediocre <laughs> at best, and it confuses me as to why Mickey is still more expensive than Haruka. And this card is actually better because you can build your deck around it a lot more um, successfully. I mean, you kind of have to if you're running Kuroyuki Hime, right? You just got to make sure you have like a higher qu quantity of like level one plus cards than usual. Uh, mm. Just wait and see 30 level threes topping everywhere. It'll be Sugoi. It'll give me cancer. New meta, Sugoi anime. Anyways, this card is playable still. Wait, I, wait. Like it's. It's still like reasonably fine as a secondary finisher. Yeah, that's where I think you put it. Not in the stupid 30 level freeze deck, which I'm sure is fine. I just don't have much belief in not getting wiced. You will always get wiced. Like how many how many how many times are you just going to draw only a brainstorm at the at level zero and then have nothing turn two what? and have another brainstorm turn three? I was playing against Tom and Weiss this weekend. Do you know how many games he triple cancelled me more than once? All of them. Triple cancelling is not that big. The what? first, <clears throat> like I think the happens. first triple cancel. He did it like was... four times in one game. No, 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 no. Like in this, in the context of a game, right? The first triple cancel is always the least likely, but as you continue, it doesn't it explain four times. Oh, I don't know, man. Cancer, cancer. Anyways, playable. Thirty level threes, twenty sixteen. WGP, GG's. X. Oh, are you gonna play that for your WGP deck, man? You better. Yeah. <laughs> you better. Yeah. You fucking better. You fuck. I'm going to. I will fucking first place. Do it. Thank I'll... you, Thomas I... Engine, for believing in me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You fucking better. <laughs> All right. Anime. 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 Next card. Ardor right. Maiden Next Battle. Card so is, is this the maid? Yes. No. Wait, is it not? No, the maid is the leopard. Jesus Christ. It's like you've never watched anime. Freaking <laughs> hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. No, so they, they decided they couldn't just combine two fetishes into one character, so they had to separate them. Secondaries? Yeah, leopard, Did you just... I mean, a leopard is a fetish, dude. Uh, this is true. <laughs> Fucking this is totally wrong. not what I meant. Freaking <laughs> secondaries. <laughs> Ugh. Auto Maiden, Battle of the Sacred... I don't I don't even have this set. I've just watched the anime, that's all. <laughs> Why did you even? <laughs> Auto Maiden, Battle of the Sacred Palace. It's another Global 500. whoop de doo When Flame Torrent is placed in your Climax Zone... Uh, I think that's the Stock Soul. Do you get the hand fix? Uh, no, it's a, another gate. It is another gate, never mind. Um, you get to drop a card and salvage a card. Seems salvage a character. mediocre still. Uh... Niche, right? Is it niche? You probably it's... play this like the enemy deck. <laughs> it's, it's it's. It actually fine seems like fine in the enemy deck. You might Wait, go eight gate in enemy. Yeah. Wait, what are you talking about? This doesn't give power to them. So? No, you have to. Enemy deck has like no hand fix. It might be like the uh, only... enemy is still going to be six five. Uh. And this is like an eight gate, so you get to keep hand. And then you also get to discard extra climaxes because you don't have any discard outlets in that deck. You uh, kind of have yeah, to, right? That, yeah, uh, it's pretty good in that deck, I guess. Niche. Um, can we move on after saying this is niche? Because you've got much better global supports in red already. Next. Let's go. Yep. Um, so, next card Blood Leopard. See, this is the maid. Blood yeah, Leopard. But she doesn't have maid trade in this form. 2 5. Um, when the battle opponent of this is reversed, if there are two or fewer characters in your opponent's front row, choose one of your other characters, rest it, and move it to an empty slot in the back row. This card is fine. Uh, so this is... yeah. But you have a runner. Uh, uh, yeah, so... Sorry, distracted. Um, So this is circa, I guess, clean-cut Yukiko, or that really old Haruhi that no one seemed to run. It's a pseudo runner in that you get your plus. What, let's but just you use the play more modern advantage. It's like resonance. No, no, you don't. Need, well, yeah. Resonance, yummy. Yeah. Uh, sitting yummy. Nah, Yukiko is still Yukiko. Gotta rep the bay. What? Doesn't Yukiko have uh, a stock this lets you get... She has a four yes, stock. Yes, it does, but that's fine. 
<laughs> you attack on turn one, you attack with two things on turn two, and then you have three stock. So yes, it's three stock, by the way. Okay, got there. Uh, so, yep, so uh, this card is good because it gives you a free attack, gives you... I say free attack because all your level zeros are going to die at some point. So you get to get an extra attack out of one of your level zeros, or even one of your back row cards. What, you just gotta if get those... your opponent has... Something if your opponent's reverse. field is conducive to being reversed. It's I mean, pretty good. The Yami card was really good in the context of the deck, because it lets you just swing in once with your Mekons, because you didn't actually have a lot of good front row attackers in TLR. And that card also had a self-pump ability, so it also like reasonably beat other level zeros. Look, this card is still fine. A lot of the time your opponent will just have a bomb up front, or like a random 3-5. I mean, if it's a bomb, then you, at least you get to like... One for one your opponent base, or like two for one your opponent, because you still keep the other attack. It's not. It's not two for. It's not two for one. You it's get a, it's, partial it's, advantage. It's like one and a half an for one. And you get an attack and a stock, which is not. Which is not. Um, it's not tangible advantage. Okay, it is tangible advantage if you are able to trade the other card. Mm. If you're able to trade and then save it, then you actually plussed. But uh, this card sure. is just playable. You plus in that you save a character that would have died anyway. This card is playable. I think it's just playable. I don't think it's great. Like it's a lot worse than when Yukiko was good because everything has runners now. Everything is oversizes. And I don't think there's a really good like. Well, I mean, you can play the brainstorm, I guess, and pump this to 4K. But at that point, you've wasted the pump. <laughs> and next up. All right, next card is Bloody Kitty, Blood, Bloody Leopard. Uh, it's level one bomb. It's playable because it's a level one bomb. I actually think the stock in level one bombs has gone up recently. Uh, that's dependent on your. It is dependent your on your level already. meta. But uh, this card is playable, and it's not very interesting, so we're just going to move on. <laughs> mm. She is in elementary school. Yes. So which one is she? She's the... She's uh, the Shrine Maiden. She's the Miko, yeah. She's the Miko? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they did combine two fetishes here. Yes, in this case, one of them is sending you straight to jail. Go directly to jail. Do not so it's pass just, go. It's, do I mean, not the other one sends you to jail too, right? Bestiality isn't legal. Okay, go directly to jail. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Why are you talking about the leopard? Wait, it's not legal. Why? I thought it was. Bestiality. <laughs> yeah, I thought it got legalized in some states. What? Am I wrong? U.S. Well, I am looking. Don't at what you guys do down there. I will man. report yeah. back with my findings. Is it legal in Canada? Oh, um, it is. Depe it is dependent on the states, actually. What it is? Yeah. What states are legal? Texas. Texas? Nevada. Wait, of all states, Texas? It's legal in Texas, yes. Holy uh, shit. Uh, is that... It's not Colorado, it's... uh. What is well, it? Well, okay, Kentucky... No, sorry. Uh... Fucking hell. Uh, Indiana. West... Wait. Yeah, West can... Well, continue. That's like Anyways. 5%, that's like 10% of your states, yo. One, two, three, four. It's legal in Hawaii as well. God damn it. Oh. Anime. Yeah, West Virginia. Holy shit, America's messed up. Kentucky. New Mexico. Wyoming. New Hampshire. So this is a 1-0-7-5 uh, seven, uh, the turn you play it, and then it dies. It's Vermont. less good than the bomb. Oh, we actually talking about cards now. I thought you were still looking up. <laughs> yeah, um, so this is like it's a one-turn really beta. It's less good than the bomb. I don't think you need this at all. It's less good than the bomb. I just don't think you need it. It's... It gets I mean, you have the... a card to sponge damage, but... Playable minus. Strong. Playable minus. This is the spot that it gets to be in. This is... Uh, uh, I just don't think you play this. I'm going to play it niche. 
Yeah, because there's the way better one in yellow, so you just gonna click. Alright. I'm gonna do playable minus. You can all have niche. Alright. One sec, I gotta actually fix my ratings um. now. Alright, next up. Alright. Next card, pod, cool living. Uh Oh, uh, she I don't think there's been a single image of her in mid outfit. How is she made trait? Well, she's a. It's about she's the a maid into one. Day. It's about uh, look. Let's 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 walk away from this whole she's a maid thing. What she has the maid trait on the card. With Avatar... ah. Yes, she does. <laughs> if I have Avatar or Net, then she gains two K. She's a seven five. And when the battle opponent this is reversed, if you there are three or fewer cards in your stock, you may put that character on top of the deck, which isn't bad. Like it's fine. It's like a. The one's one seven five with sometimes okay. upside. I mean, I, feel like... I don't think you... you're really gonna get that top deck very often. No, you might, because at level one, if you start with um three, if you start if you start your battle phase with two stock, right? If you start you your battle first... phase with two stock and attack with this first, then you get to do it once. I mean, are you going to play multiples of this? I don't think I start with any of them, but. I mean, I if like you're playing deck... you're playing red at level one. This is a one one seven four, yeah. and you're running globals, so it'll be like a one one eight k. I mean, two like, k counter. But, but right? with the but with the uh, the backer that says whenever you accelerate, you know, give a carp, pay one, do your thing. You can at least stack that on the bomb and guarantee a reverse against another level one target. It seems fine. Yeah, I, I'm not. I feel like if before you play this, you max on the bomb in the red deck. The whole uh, mechanic this deck has actually like creates this huge problem where during the like the main phase you have trouble paying out a climax in like the second stop, and so like you actually have, it's actually like physically like impossible unless you want to do like really like suboptimal plays, and so I feel like you'd play like one copy of this card in certain lists because you can like brainstorm switch it out and then pay out the climax right, and like that's the only use of it. Sure, niche. Mm, sounds about right. Serves a mm. niche role for a niche deck. Alright, Scarlet Rain, Equip Command, 2 on 7k. When the battle opponent is reversed, if you've got Heat Blast Saturation, which is, is that the 2k one? No, it's the Stock Soul. Red. Um, if you've got that, you may deal 1 damage to your opponent, like whatever. And when this becomes reversed, if the level of the battle opponent of this is higher than the level of your opponent, you may reverse that character. So it's I an think, anti change bomb. You, I think you mostly just play it for the second effect. Yeah. Yeah, like, that is that is what you play it for. Like if you have the climax space, eh, jam it. But I think in general you're just playing it for the second effect. Playable plus. Yeah, look, you get you, you shrek that trancing pulse screen. Shrek that three nine eighty card with your fifty yen uncommon. Exactly. Playable Sounds plus. Good. <laughs> Next. That's the epitome of anime, right? Anime. Anime. I want to give the meta rating, honestly, but whatever. Nico, forced logout. 0015. If this is front row center slot, gains 3k. Yeah, no. <laughs> eh. There was a time where this would be good, but not anymore. Still no. Yeah, I wouldn't say yeah. bad. I feel like... Playable minus. Yeah. Sounds fair. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's reasonable. We've hit the junk cards. Nico, so good at go talking. Faster. Like, I, I'd rather, I think I'd rather play. Um, there are a few cards I'd rather play over that one at level zero. Uh, if there are two or fewer, um, Nico, good at talking. If there are two or fewer cards in your stock, this gains one five. And when the battle opponent is reversed, if you have one or fewer other characters, you may salvage character and ditch a card. This doesn't do anything because if you have two or fewer cards in stock and one or few other characters, you probably don't have much of a waiting room at all. Well, what if you just discarded a bunch of cards and just, like, anti sack I mean, sure, but do you really want to, um... I mean, sure, to discard I'm out... I'm if still not running game. this card, but you could. No, you don't You don't run it, because there's nothing to salvage that early. Nothing you want to salvage. That's false. I mean, I've played with level zero salvagers, and, like, that's been fine with me. It's just dependent on I mean, you're getting, factors. You're getting advantage, but it's not very good This is advantage. not advantage. Like, this is not advantage. This is explicitly no, it's not, not advantage. You, this is hand fixing. Fine, you you get filtering, but it's not even you're not even hand fixing because you're not getting cards you want. You're getting cards that you'll clock. 
And you're probably going to clock that climax anyway, so it didn't matter. Playable minus. It's like, it's yeah. it's so whatever. No, I'm I'm not giving it a playable uh, minus. I'm giving it's like it bad. It's like borderline bad, honestly. It's not I think it me. might actually just be bad. Like, yeah, it has some really good text on it, but all that text gets negated past turn three because you're going to be playing more than two characters. Well, you really hope you played more like, than two characters. The stack doesn't have okay, a top sure. twelve brainstorm either, so yeah. Oh, uh, it doesn't have a pay one brainstorm. It doesn't have a tap no, cell. Well, it has, oh. it has, but you have to tap two, which oh. means you, you uh. have more characters on field than this effect will allow. Mm -hmm. Like, it, I just don't think this card does anything. Yeah, bad. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Uh, next card. Uh, Nico, Cooking with a Smile. See, this is the kind of red card I would consider playing. If you have one or few other characters, all other characters gain one level and 1k. Now, the reason I think about playing this is because... Having a 3 5 oh, level 1 runner is really rude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this gives other. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. So, I like level 1 runners. From text. I play yeah, so this, 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 first, this first came up in Shin Chan, which was really dumb. And it's one of, the, <laughs> that, one of that deck's like signature levels, level turn 1 plays. And it's just as good here. Like, what can I say? Yep. Uh, I like this card a lot more than the previous two level zeros. Yeah, playable is what I give it, but it's only good with um the runner. Only good with the runner, and after well, it's good with the four five as well, I guess. But after the after turn one and turn two, it's like relegated to color fixing. So like that's fine. It's a color fixer after that. All right. Uh, Utai, hard worker. So one one counter. Uh, when you use the backup, you may pay cost of one. If so, you may choose an Arda Maiden, the 3 2 double R uh, Shrine Maiden, in your waiting room and add it back to hand. Okay, so I'm really confused. Is Utai her in game name and her out of game name? Because she has a card with Avatar and a card with Net. No, no, she's Utai, and then her, um, her Avatar is Arda Maiden. Well, if but you then, watch the anime, the whole thing, like, but, it's the, the traits. Revolve, revolve around the anime, right? So. But the next card yeah, is like, Utai in Rain battle. Is not SAO. It, the, the next card it's is very different. The next card is Utai in battle, and that one's net animal. Yeah, but yeah, she's probably in real life. Like I haven't seen the movie. But, but then I'm why sure is she sense. net? I thought net was like uh, their avatar. Like because well, they're like world. net is them in, in, in real like, life. In avatar the is them. They can go into the net world without actually transforming into their avatar yet. Like they can be yeah. in limbo. So yeah. Yeah, they 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 have a they have a they've got like the first avatar. Like you know how um, Kuyuka Hime has uh, level three from the first set. She's in like a butterfly dress or whatever. That's an avatar as well. And then they have the battle avatar, which is the like the stand, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, if you want to compare it to a far <laughs> superior anime. Sao. No, I thought you said oh. stand as in JoJo's. Jojo, Joe jokes. I, I love Joe jokes. Where's the Joe joke? Anyways. Anyway, this card is like whatever. I don't think you play it ever. I there are other ways to get automated in your hand. Yeah. I was mentioning the stock issue earlier, and yeah, the deck also like I round one because like I still have that same stock issue. So like paying out a climax comes up, but I'd rather play free refresh. I don't know. This card is meh. Like niche. All right. Utai in battle. Uh, this is Penguin's favorite card. When this is placed from hand to stage, you may pay the cost of ditching a card from hand. If you do, you may pop a cost zero or lower character in your opponent's back row. When another avatar or net card attacks, this gains one five for the turn. So this is secretly just a good card. It's uh, You get to pop a brainstorm, and then you get to attack as a nine five for a turn, which I think is more than reasonable. Yeah, yeah that's fine. You pop Shinobu against your uh, standard, like in the Bakken matchup, and it's like ridiculous, I think. Well, not ridiculous, mm -hmm. but it's good. You pop a lot of things. Yeah. I think it's uh, I think it's pretty good. I, I think I can. It's a playable plus card, despite being like a a random junk common. Yeah, yeah. playable plus for me too. I mean, it's a one for one. Playable plus. A guaranteed one for one, and some decks live and die by their back rows being on board. Uh, like right. index, like index, actually, like triad primus, like <laughs> losing a back rows sometimes just crippling. So, mm -hmm. 
All right, next card. Foothold, it's a 3-3 three, three event. Choose a character. That character gains 2k and the ability when the battle opponent of this is reversed, you may deal 5 damage to your opponent. Uh... Hey, so it's, uh... <laughs> I, think I, pref it's your I really think I prefer... I really think I prefer just the 3-3 three, three deal 5 events. That one seems... I mean, what this one can do, you can attack with all of your characters first, and if they cancel 3 times, the 5 might go in. And this also gives power, obviously, but that's really not that relevant. Uh, I think it's very different to the 3-3 three, three burn event, but I think I like the 3-3 three, three burn event better. I think I like the 3-3 three, three burn event better, too. This has to reverse it's something, guaranteed. so sometimes you paid 3 stock and did nothing. <laughs> yeah. Mm, I oh, agree. If you, if you, uh, yeah, if you, uh, like, mon if you, like, anti-damage it, they don't even get it, right? Oh my god. Exactly, it's yeah. Hard. You just get, you, yeah, everything oh gets lost. Yeah, it, like sometimes you paid three stock and did nothing. So this is the second event in this set that sometimes you just paid stock and did nothing, right? Heap of stock to boot. Like it's, it's not even like one stock. It's Two three stock. Three. Oh that, my god, that's a lot. This card is bad. This card is a trap. Yeah. All right, next card, last card in red. Reckless driving, one one. Uh, choose a cost one or lower character in your opponent's back row and kill it. Yo, I think the two one is actually better. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, they're, they're very different. Like killing a cost one versus a killing a cost zero is the difference between killing an anti heal back row and killing nothing. This is true. But a lot they're of very sets different. Just, they don't play it like at all. Like, like what's it called? Yeah, like, like Love Live has this and it's not played. Uh. I can't think of any I think, I, I think I'm going to go with a magic analogy. I like my things to have bodies. Yeah, but the body's mm -hmm. important on the other one. Like, like Sanctum Prolate is Chalice of the Void on legs. So it's way better than Chalice of the Void. Like, if you... Like, this card, you can't call it when you need it, right? You can't brainstorm for it. But you can brainstorm for the that card. So I think that's a huge difference. And yeah. this card's just worse. Have, having like, legs is really relevant. Okay, I was not aware that Silica and, um, and, uh, what's her name? Nico. I didn't know they shared a voice actor. Of course they do. <laughs> and, um, apparently Nico and Lisbeth share an English voice actress. I don't know if that's oh. relevant, but I also don't really watch English <laughs> anime. <laughs> Weird is what I mean. Mm. So that is it yeah. for Red. Yeah, it's red. Uh, we have to take a break here because people have things to do. But um, yeah, we'll see you with blue.